Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Wartrain here. If you're new, do me a favor, please subscribe and click the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified of every time I upload a new video. Uh, I've been making content like this about at least a video a day. I try to anyway, but uh, subscribe and give me a like. I really appreciate it. But today's video, guys, I want to talk about the game Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Now, I've made multiple videos on this game. I absolutely love playing this game. It looks great. It plays great. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely a spiritual successor to um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I mean, I've been playing that game as well alongside it. So, uh, definitely see the <laughs> uh, a lot of things that are very similar and it's awesome i mean absolutely love this game i double dipped on it i bought the xbox one version so i can play on my one x and have the best looking version and i also have this game on the nintendo switch so that i can play it portably because a game like this is great to play on the go and i've been having a lot of fun with both versions yeah i got the best of both both worlds the portability the uh, great looking graphics and, and high frame rates. So that was all fine and good, but I finally had a big problem. I know there was issues with um, copies of this game. Uh, I heard a lot of stuff about the PlayStation 4 having game breaking bugs um, where uh, you had issues with the chests like being opened and then you uh, couldn't get what was inside of them. Well, I don't have the PlayStation 4 version. I have the Xbox One version. Well, I had to wipe the game off of my system and I'm actually reinstalling it right behind me on <laughs> on my TV. Um, I actually, uh, I'm a little farther in the Nintendo Switch version because it's just easier for me to play portably. So I've been trying to keep uh, parity between both games uh, as far as my profile, trying to keep them around the same spot in the game. Well, like I said, I'm a little further on the Nintendo Switch version, so I was trying to catch up on my Xbox One version, and that's when it happened. I um, needed to uh, get silver bromide in the game to basically take a picture to give to a vampire that gives me access to um, get on this train and progress the game i mean if you can't do that you're stuck and you can't get further in the game well i uh you get the silver bromide after beating the double-headed dragging on like the tower or whatever at the very bottom there's a chest where you get it well i beat the double-headed dragon i go to the bottom and the chest is already open and I thought that was weird. Um, and I actually thought I noticed a couple chests being open prior to that, which I thought was also weird because I never was in those spots yet on this version. Um, I, I didn't think I was. I was trying to remember back, did I play this already? Because like I said, I'm playing multiple versions, so it's easy to get confused. Well, so I didn't check my inventory. I uh, went uh, to go get the picture done thinking maybe I already got it, which I didn't know how I would already got it because you got to beat the dragon, but I was like, yeah, whatever. And that's when it happened. I realized I couldn't get the picture. I went back, checked the chest again just to make sure I didn't overlook something. And yeah, um, the chest is open. The silver bromide's gone. I cannot progress the story further in the Xbox One version which is really disappointing because um, the, the game is absolutely great. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, it's still, I guess, early enough in the game where it's not the end of the world. But still, it, it's just a lot of extra time now that I, I need to go through the, the whole beginning again to get back to that point. And it's definitely discouraging, to say the least. I mean... Like I said, I'm doing uh, two versions at the same time, so I'm already been going through, uh, you know, a version of this a second time. So um, now I'm going to have to do it a third time. Um, like I said, very discouraging. So it, this is a problem. I mean, you know, I, I thought the, there was patches. I've uploaded patches. And let me tell you something. 
the Nintendo Switch version right here. Um, say what you will about this version, but it's a great version. And I want to say more of the reason why that is, why it is so good, is because you can put this game in and pretty much play instantly. You may have like a little bit of a, an update. It might take like five minutes, roughly, if that just to install the game. But you're up and running playing this game in no time. I mean, it's awesome. That's the, the, the great thing about the Switch is a lot of games, you just put them in, and within a few minutes, you're playing. It's kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, just like old times where you, you get a game, you put it in, and you play. Now, this version, or the PlayStation 4 version, you have to install the game, and it takes forever. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty much not going to be playing for possibly hours. And, um, you know, that's definitely discouraging when you get a new game and you want to play. Not only is it discouraging, now maybe um, you have these problems with game breaking bugs, but they update them. Now those updates take forever. I had to update this a couple times to be able to play it. And actually I updated this game and it, it would I knew it was going to take a while. I think it even said it was going to take a while. So I went and played my Nintendo Switch version. Um, which I had no problem with that one. I just jump on and keep playing. And um, so I would play the Switch version while waiting to play this version. Now how sad is that? I mean, that's definitely disappointing. Um, but this is, this is kind of the problem with some of the modern games that we have. Um, you know, they, all these updates you're constantly having to do, it's like, uh, it's a shame that we can't just go back to, um, having a game not be broken when you get it. <laughs> I mean, clearly this game was broken at launch. I mean, and obviously it's still kind of broken because I'm sure I'm not the only one having this problem. I know cause there, there's been tons of stuff online about it. And it's, it's definitely a major disappointing uh, disappointment, especially for such an absolutely great game. But, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't even want to know what to say. The game's somewhat broken. So now I have to wipe it from my system, reinstall it, and possibly not update or upload a certain patch. And these things they want to go always automatic if your system's online so what does that mean i gotta shut take my system off the internet just to play the game uh it's crazy um you know i should just be able to uh download it again put whatever updates on it and be able to play through the game so i guess that's what i'm gonna do and i'll have to see what happens hopefully you know, i won't have empty chests again and i'll actually be able to continue this game but <laughs> I just wanted to make this video because there, I'm sure there's tons of other people out there and just know you are not the only one with this problem. And you're not the only person that is super frustrated about this. And, uh, you know, these people that make these games, um, you know, hey, the game's great, but man, don't put out broken games. <laughs> you got to play the game first and fix the problems before you launch them. I mean, even though this is not a $60 game, it's a $39.99 game, there's no reason why it should be broken at launch. Um, absolutely not. You know, spend an extra month if you have to, two months to put out a game that's not broke. But that's, that's the video, guys. <laughs> I wanted to just put this out there so other people you know, could see if they had these problems, you're not alone. It is frustrating. Um, the creators should be kind of ashamed and need to work on not doing this again. Absolutely. Um, you know, they need to get that, some of this DLC out, uh, soon just to at least help make up for the problems that they, they've had with this game. Um, but that's the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. I'd really appreciate it and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I make content like this every day with time allowing. At least I tried to, but if you want to see some more gaming content, um, subscribe to War Train Wins. But that's the video guys. Thanks for watching. I'm the War Train and I'm out. Have a good one.